Really quick guys, before getting into this video, if you want to win a 2020 Jeep Gladiator that's lifted and on 37s currently, go to InShaneDesigns.com, buy something off the website. Until Black Friday, every $5 spent is three entries into the giveaway. And after Black Friday, every $5 spent is one entry into the giveaway. So make sure you get entered in to win this thing. Head over to InShaneDesigns.com, order some stuff, and also go subscribe to StreetSpeed717. Follow him on Instagram. Huge shout out to him for letting me borrow the Gladiator Day to make this video. Yo, YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. How is everybody doing? So it has been a while. I haven't had any reason to make a video. I get home at 4.30, 5 o'clock at night, so it's dark. The Jeep's been running good. It's making a little bit of noises that are kind of irritating, but oh well, it's 20 years old or some sh something like that. But that doesn't matter because today we are going to pick up a six speed gladiator on 37s and we are going to have an enjoyable time in it i'm going to make a first impressions video which is what you're watching now and then i'm going to make an in-depth kind of review video of the gladiator well, before we even get into the gladiator i was literally two minutes from being here and my jeep started making some squeaking noises which it's been making a little bit of noise lately look at that my freaking belt came off oh great bro snapped right in half wonderful wonderful well before we get into that i gotta call my mechanic all right, immediately, let me put this, like, uh, it's not flat like my Jeep, holy crap. So, brand new car smell, mint, oh, LED interior lights. There is side steps, rock sliders, I didn't even notice that. I'm excited, this is gonna be fun. I think it has more room than the XJ in the back seat. So, I mean, if you're into Wranglers, it feels exactly like a Wrangler, except there's a bed attached to the back of it. It feels nice, like this, the steering wheel feels great. I love this steering wheel. I have a thing for fat, bulky steering wheels. And it is start, stop on a button. So clutch in, press the button. No, do you have to hold the button? Oh, you have to hold the button. Oh, and there it is. I forgot he cut the exhaust off. I think the exhaust was cut off of this. Or it might be a complete exhaust. I'm not too sure. 1,086 miles on the dash. We're gonna let her warm up a little bit. It's got a quarter tank of gas, so we probably will have to get gas. Thankfully, it's cloudy, but it is a 50 degree day, thankfully. I'm just so grateful for this opportunity. Like, when I heard about the Gladiator, I wish I was saving my money from the time I turned 10. Like, this, I love Glad. I love the way they look. Now, I do know this from watching videos that this has auto stop start, so kind of like a hybrid, I guess, in a way. I don't really know. But you don't want the engine to turn off, so we're just gonna turn that off anyways, because I don't want this turning off at me at lights. I don't want to ruin the starter, ruin the motor, whatever. Now, rookie mistake, I did install, but I know there's a little lever here for reverse, and I put it in sixth gear thinking that was reverse. So, already off to a bad start. So clutch in, all the way to the left, button up, and then reverse, and then, that's how we know in reverse, the backup camera comes on. Well, we are about five minutes into our drive. I got my first Jeep wave, so the thing with the Gladiator is people are kind of against it and oh it's not a jeep oh it's ugly don't jeep wave to them it's not a wrangler but it's just it's pretty much a wrangler with a truck bed attached to it so some people might wave to it thinking it's a wrangler and then realize it's a gladiator and oh i shouldn't have waved to that thing me on the other hand if i was a wrangler owner or a gladiator owner I would wave to everybody. I would do the Jeep wave to everybody. The strange thing to me is though, I was not expecting the steering to be so tight and accurate. So 
so it might have a little play right here it might have a little bit of a dead zone at, pretty much but when turning it it's tight like I, I it surprised me I turned and it was like on the other side of the road and it was, surprised me it caught me off guard this looks like a straight road to get on the power for you guys. So, oh, never mind. I see a corner, but we'll do it anyways. So we're pulling out. Oh, and there's a cop. We're getting pulled over, boys. Yep, we're getting pulled over. Gosh darn it. I've had this Jeep for 10 minutes and I'm getting pulled over. God damn it. Why me? Why me? Is he even a state trooper? Because he has a gun. I seen him put that gun down so fast. This is just great wonderful i bet he thinks i'm street speed i bet that's what it is wouldn't surprise me yep state trooper hello good afternoon i'm trooper black state police your driver's license registration proof insurance mm -hmm. just now he's being audio visually recorded on stop reason i pulled yep. you over speeding can I ask what the speed limit is on this? 25. Year? Okay, because I'm not I'm not from around here. I, yeah, yeah, it's I picked this up for I'm doing a video. I have yeah. a, I have a GoPro. You can so. also see the sign right there. It says 25, and then there's like three or four that you passed along. Well, the I way. I just turned off of that road. All 25. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. The tires are illegal as well. Yeah, it, it's not my vehicle. I'm doing a video with it. Okay. Um. Financial responsibility. That's an insur that's for insurance, I think. That's a pink slip. You're gonna need a let's see here, this one's expired, looks like. This might be it. I think this is an updated one. Yeah, 10 22 19. 420. Okay, registration now. Um, I didn't plan on being pulled over, I would have asked where all this stuff was. This just looks like the Jeep handbook. I could give him a call and ask him where his I'll registration right is. Is that would you like me to do that? I'll be right with you. Alright. Well, in that little bit of a distance, apparently I was speeding. I don't know what I got up to, <laughs> but I was doing over 25, I guess. I seen him sitting behind the tree and I seen him shuffling around his stuff so fast. He put that gun down so quick. So I knew it was coming. I pulled over when I saw this area before he even had his lights on. Told me the tires are illegal, which I guess they poke out a little bit, but come on, it's just tires, but they are state troopers, so they will get you for anything, but, and why is a state trooper all the way out in the middle of nowhere? Well, I haven't even hit a main road. <sighs> Sitting, oh, if I get a ticket, I'm going to be so irritated. Cause I'm literally, you're seeing a 25 mile an hour zone hiding behind trees, man. Well, I got a warning for registration, which it's not even my vehicle, so I don't even know where the hell the registration's at. And I got a warning for illegal tires, which I told him it's not my car. So, I mean, I guess I didn't get a ticket for it on the bright side of things, but I pulled out didn't even see I, I turned you, you guys seen it I'm so irritated because I got cited for speeding and it's a $200 ticket I never even passed a speed limit sign before seeing the guy 
or before the guy seen me. And he's like, oh, there was three, you passed three signs before then. Why are you sitting on a road of 25 miles an hour? Oh, you have nothing else to do, I see. I do nothing but support the police. It's just annoying that I pull out onto the road and immediately, for a pull for you guys, it's your fault. I just wanted to do a pull for the video and look what happens. Well, guys, so there's the ticket speeding 44 and a 25 the video actually says 39 but either way i can't prove i wasn't speeding the only thing is that when i turn onto the road i never passed the speed limit sign so technically i didn't know the speed limit to that road but i mean that guy was definitely there waiting for people so clearly he had nothing better to do, nothing against him. I committed a speeding crime. I got to pay the fine. It's whatever. It just, it's annoying. I think it's because he heard me coming with the exhaust being taken off and stuff. He was probably on that right away, but there's the speeding video. Next video is going to be the completion of the first impressions video. So YouTube, what's up? I'm recording on my phone right now. I'm actually editing or going through all the film footage. I did not close out this video of me getting ticketed. So that's what this is. Um, yeah, I got a $200 fine. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. I got a $200 fine. Apparently that the ticket I have also is gonna put points on my license. So I'm not gonna have points on my license and I'm not gonna risk my insurance going up either. So I'm gonna do my best to get the minimum of whatever I can get on this ticket. But yeah, as you could tell, I got up to 39 miles an hour. According to the Speedo, I hit 39. He says the speed limit was 25. I don't recall the speed limit coming off of those roads, or at least I don't think I do. But he said, the road I turned off of, the speed limit's 25 the whole time. I turned onto the road that he was sitting on, and the speed limit's 25 there. In my favor, I guess, I never passed a speed limit sign from the point I turned out to where he was sitting. So technically, I think the law is if there's no speed limit sign on the road, you can do 45 or 55. That's what I heard at least, but that road's 25 from where I pulled out at to where he was sitting, there was not a speed limit sign. Now, yes, I was doing 39 according to my video, 44 according to his radar. So one of us is wrong here. Um, and I'd never passed the sign. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do about this because I'm not getting points on my license. And I mean, I don't mind paying the $200. I mean, it sucks. I took off work today. So I could have been at work, not $200 in a hole for a ticket, but I also wouldn't have three videos coming out for you guys on a freaking gladiator. So yeah, guys, it's actually going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, or if you thought it was funny, leave a thumbs up. If you're new to the Jeep and Daily channel, hit the subscribe button down below because you are not going to want to miss upcoming top content. And especially because I think next weekend, we're actually going to be taking the Gladiator off-road at Roush Creek now. Again, go check out Street Speed's channel if you don't follow him already. Street Speed 717 on YouTube, Street Speed 717 on Instagram. Also, go to the Insane Designs website to be entered into a giveaway. From this point now till the midnight Black Friday, it is triple the entry. So every $5 spent for the next two days is three entries to win this giveaway. So like I said, we could be Jeep bros if you enter and win this thing. So go enter that link down below. But full impressions, first impressions video coming at you guys on Black Friday. So be on the lookout for that. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.